What's up world? Bobby Penn here in New Orleans, Louisiana for Essence 25. Right now I'm at the House of BET for the Circle Reading with OWN Network's Queen Sugar star, Tina Lifford. We'll be reading a script for her brand new stage play outlining the different journeys that women have. Tons of celebrities will be coming through, so stay tuned right here for my red carpet coverage, bringing you up close and personal with today's stars. In the circle, I was dying a slow death, married to a man who took my voice. Uh, but can't nobody take what you don't let go of. Mm -hmm. Now see, this is my story. <laughs> She's right though, thank you Oprah. <laughs> What's up, world? Bobby Penn is still hanging out here at BET Hers, The Circle Reading. This time I'm with honoree Hydea, activist, notable figure, somebody definitely worth paying attention to. How are you? I'm well. How are you doing? I'm well. Now, I remember you as a little, little girl speaking out and advocating for HIV AIDS awareness. Tell me what it feels like to still be here, what, 30 years later? Um, it's an honor. I am overwhelmed. I'm overjoyed. I just had my 35th birthday wow. and I'm celebrating 30 years in activism work. So we're doing the 35-30 tour. So we're going to go around promoting awareness and education and knowledge about HIV. And actually, we, we have all the tools to eradicate HIV in the U.S. So it's about promoting awareness, making sure people are aware and empowered and that they can just take charge of this disease for once and for all and wipe it out. Yeah. I'm, a I'm a part of the first generation of children born HIV positive. Yeah. And I am a part of the first generation of children born HIV positive. A time where we didn't think we would survive. A time where we didn't think we would be here today. A time when the system held something to my parents. But see, my mother was a hustler and my daddy was a G. So what do you think that made me? I got to fight for my people. HIV has not gone away, but it can. We have all the tools today. I can have a child without passing HIV on to my future husband or child. Without, without passing HIV on to my future husband or child. Make sure you take this information and spread awareness. Because this disease can stop with us today. You're one of our sponsors for this evening. Tell us about your organization. Well, AHF, AIDS Healthcare Foundation, is the largest nonprofit global organization that provides cutting edge medicine and advocacy, regardless of your ability to pay. And so, because of the fact they wanted to get the word out about how important it is for sexual awareness, we created BLACK, which stands for Black Leadership AIDS Crisis Coalition, and it focuses on the African American community. It allows us to be able to reach out to the faith leaders to the uh, leadership out in the, in the government to raise awareness and bring it back home to how important it is to know your status. Follow us on Instagram at black, B-L-A-C-C -C underscore A-H-F. And then also you can visit our website, which is black, B-L-A-C-C -C dot net. Thank you so much. Actor Lance Nichols and his wife. Hey, what made you want to come out to support Tina? Well, Lance has been knowing Tina for a very long time. I think she played his wife yeah, in a movie years ago in L.A. when we lived in L.A. So it's great to see Tina's journey, and I'm really happy for her. She's on a hit show, and I'm anxious to see what this play is about because I don't know. So I'm here just like you are. Exciting. We're looking forward to a reading of The Circle. Thank you, BET, her. All right. Our souls connected many months ago, and we talked about many things on the phone conversation. We ended the phone conversation by saying, all right, I gotta go, I gotta go, it's been two hours. I love you, and clearly we are kismet, this is great. I gotta go. She said, one more thing. I have a play that I've written, my daughter, and I'd love to bring it to Essence. Do you know a venue where I may be able to host a reading? I said, I do. <laughs> I know one. The next voices you will hear from the stage will be the women of the circle, and most importantly, we want you to celebrate with us. If you desire to cry, if you desire to laugh, whatever it is, this is the place where you are allowed to be like a circle. Now, the circle comes in many forms and is known by many names, such as the sacred circle. The sister circle. The healing ground. The tribe. The gathering. The come together. The come to Jesus moment. Amen. Amen. And, of course, girlfriends. And my favorite, the boat. So, what's a boat? If you, any of you have a dog, raise your hand. Or a human best friend. Or, right? Or if you have ever gotten a phone call or had a dream that helped you when you needed it the most, raise your hand. See, that's a boat. In the whispers, I heard pain. I heard the hurt of betrayal. 
I heard a little girl lost trying to be tough and strong in a big bad world. I heard shame. I heard this woman begging to be loved. She was completely exposed to me. She might as well have been naked with her legs wide open. I, yeah. Here she was, an average girl. I beg your pardon? <laughs> I have never been average. Listen, my story, you were average. Whatever. For the record, never been average. Anyway, we were budding actors. So we're doing this play about women. Unfinished women cry while a bird sings in a gilded cage. <laughs> right, right. See, on the stage, she's funny. But she didn't say much off stage. I was. Aloof, exactly. But there was something about her. I guess some part of me knew she was supposed to be in my life. I wanted to tell myself the truth in ways I had never done before. Then more and more, I kept running into other women, all who were saying the same thing in some way. I want to get out of here. I'm tired. I'm sick and tired. Okay, okay. Okay, everybody, um, come on, let's uh, let's introduce ourselves as our animal spirit. What's he, what? I just go with it. Oh boy, my friends, my corporate friends could see me now. No.